The pandemic, the economy and crime, what will be the biggest priority for the next person who takes over City Hall? Tonight, education is moving to the forefront of the conversation as the candidates take questions from city educators. Our voices are trusted voices in the, in the community. Tonight, hundreds of teachers and principals will hear directly from the candidates in the race for New York City Mayor. They are really concerned going into next year with a deficit. The conversation hosted by the Council of School Supervisors and Administrators is one of several forums now pushing education into the center of the race. Bronx mom Elisa Reed is following the contenders closely. One thing that I'm looking for in a candidate is for them to have priorities. And I feel like our kids have been ignored long enough. Her hope, the next mayor immediately addresses the technology gap exposed by the pandemic. I just dropped off the tablets at the school to get fixed. Some were disabled, some were just not connecting to the internet. In March, New York City moved all 1.1 million students from in-person to remote learning in a matter of days. How the district has handled the pandemic since then has been sharply criticized by candidates, including Scott Stringer. The real challenge is gonna be how do we give so many of our kids the mental health services they need? If elected mayor, Eric Adams says he would address issues that existed in our schools well before COVID-19. It's almost uh, criminal that over 60 percent of black and brown people uh, failed to meet proficiency in the Department of Education. The candidates will have another opportunity to share their vision for our schools this Sunday in a forum with the Black Educators Coalition, moderated by David C. Banks. Putting ourselves in a position where um, we can create a new path forward where all children can win um, is really important. We have not heard that level of discussion uh, at all to date on the campaign trail, not at all. We are now less than five months away from June's Democratic primary and for the first time this year, New Yorkers will be able to vote for more than one candidate by ranking them in order of your preference. We'll have more on ranked choice voting in the coming weeks. For now, reporting from City Hall, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.